Bro. Yo, what's going on? It's your man, Dualbag Johnson. I'm here with a quick episode of Talk Talkie. Just wanted to discuss with you guys the uh, whole, what they're calling, and now this is at least according to the article, and I will link it below, that I got, that I was reading uh, off of Destructoid. Essentially, um, they're calling it the Switch tax, the Nintendo Switch tax. So, now it's becoming a repetitive thing. Um... AAA titles are coming out multi-platform, and great, they're finally getting some third-party support. Nintendo, your system's getting third-party support. And when you have a big company like Rockstar, so the game we're talking about here is L.A. Noir, or Noir, or however it's pronounced. Uh, basically, that game, along with others that ha you know are big-name titles, are $10 more to buy on the Switch than other systems. So... People are paying now. Now I understand in their defense now, and I'm going to read it directly off of this article here. In the defense, Rockstar came to their defense saying, "Well, um, and this is a, a quote off of uh, the article right here from Destructo's website, um, and this is as listed on their official site." So I'm saying this is Rockstar's official site. The HD Rumble touchscreen and motion controller features exclusive to the Switch will basically run you fifty dollars as opposed to $40 for the other editions. Digital will be priced at $40, as in the case with other Switch tax situations. The more shocking thing here is that Rockstar, a company that usually shows Nintendo no love, is supporting the Switch at all. And yes, I agree wholeheartedly that it is a shocker that Rockstar is giving a game like this a home on a Nintendo console. That's awesome. Maybe that means GTA or any other big titles like that, Red Dead, could potentially come to the Nintendo. Or the Switch. Cool. Good job. Bad job. They're saying features like HD Rumble, touchscreen, and motion controller, that's like going to cost you extra money. Um, but if you get it digitally, the downloaded copy, you only pay $40. That's the same amount. So what are we really paying for here? Let's get real, people. We are paying an extra $10 to have it put on a proprietary memory card because Nintendo couldn't just make a little disc slot or just do di download only. I mean, I get the whole you don't want to do download only. And, you know, a, a cartridge definitely sounds like a great idea. Why couldn't you just put it on an SD card? Why couldn't the games be on SD cards? It has to be a proprietary card. Like, you could have done this in a way that manufacturers would not have to charge more money. Game developers would not have to charge more money to put a game out for your system. That is just absolutely ridiculous. That's just another mistake, in my opinion. You guys constantly just keep making mistakes. Nintendo, I always loved you, and I'm really, I'm hoping, I'm pulling for you that you guys don't turn into uh, the next Sega and end up, you know, just developing uh, some. Basically, at that point, you'd be a third-party IP developer. Um, and no offense, but Mario and all that is. Uh, Starting to dry out, in my opinion, I think. I mean, I feel like Mario always has a, a place, but, you know, you guys are just milking the Mario cow. Like, it would be one thing, you know, I don't know. It would be one thing if you had other IPs, but I feel like everything just revolves around Mario with you guys. Like, I mean, Sega, yeah, they did the Sonic thing a lot, and they keep putting out Sonic games, but, I, you know, they have other IPs. And, I mean, shit, they relied on their personal properties and ended up going under, too, so... Uh, you know, you gotta figure something out, but shit like this, that's just not gonna fly for very long. You know, you get a game on the shelf, like, uh, the next Mortal Kombat comes out, and let's say, fucking A, man, let's say that Team Ninja and whoever else, uh, over there who does that game, fucking, let's say, uh, Ed Boon decides, I, I don't know who calls the shots with that game, Netherrealm, they go, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this on, uh, the Switch, it'll be fucking awesome, right? But we're gonna have to charge $70 instead of 60 because... And then they say some bullshit about rumble support and touchscreen. And, you know what? It's it's the fucking proprietary thing, okay? Again, Nintendo, enough. Like, it's, it's chicken shit, man. I think you guys fucked this one up again. I'm just saying. Having to charge more money for the same game for your console and get a worse experience, okay? Because you know that your shit is not playing that game nearly as good. You're getting lower frame rates. You're getting shitty textures. The graphics on the fucking Switch are nowhere near as good as a PS4, not even an Xbox. They're closer to an Xbox, but not a PS4. Come on. And what are you going to do when the Xbox One X comes out and they do this update for the PS4 Pro and those systems are fucking pumping 20 times the power as the Switch? Then what are you going to do? 
your system is gonna it, it's it's fucking irrelevant already. The only thing it has going for it is the it, the you know Mario right your general like Nintendo IP and then you know that it is a portable like scenario. But I'm telling you that's that's not gonna fly for too much long either. But um, I don't know. Anyway, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this scenario. This is another shit show for Nintendo. Uh, I mean, at least that's my opinion on it. I could be wrong, but I, I know that if I had a Switch, I, you wouldn't catch me. I would just get a fucking big enough memory card and I'd be downloading my games. You wouldn't see me buying these games, spend an extra $10 to have a cartridge. But at that rate, if I had a Switch, that means I definitely had a PS4 or an Xbox because personally that would not be my first pick in console and I wouldn't buy it for the Switch. I'd buy it for one of those other consoles that it's going to play better on anyway. I'm fucking old. I'm not going to be out there walking the streets playing a fucking Nintendo Switch. It's just not going to happen. So, I don't know. Again, let me know what you guys think. Tell me I'm crazy. You know, you can disagree with me. That's awesome. I, I You know, agree with me? Awesome. But I just wanted to discuss this a little bit because I just thought it was crazy. I saw that and was like, you got to be joking me. Great job getting third-party support. Fuck you guys for charging more money, though. So, that being said, your mans is signing out. Peace. I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, pop that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Google+. Give us some Twitter love. Bye, friends. And we really enjoy when you guys leave us comments down below. The, the family, family that plays, plays together, together stays together. together. Ah!